today we're going to create a WhatsApp chatbot just like this one here and we're going to integrate this inside WhatsApp and the tools that we're going to be using for this one on number one is VectorShift. VectorShift is a no-code AI automations platform and I really love it and I've been using it for quite a while now and of course VectorShift has a comprehensive documentation of how to integrate any chatbot with WhatsApp or SMS and the next thing that we need is of course Tivolo so what you need to do is you need to go to Tivolo's website it is an amazing API platform which actually lets you integrate your chatbot with WhatsApp and they give you free credits for starters. You don't have to pay anything to get started. And with the help of these tools, we're going to create a pipeline from scratch and turn that into a WhatsApp chatbot that we can integrate inside WhatsApp. So without further channel, let's dive right into it and start building our very own WhatsApp chatbot. Hi and welcome back to Skill Group. This is your host Shamriz and we are finally moving to the lab part. So we are here inside the Vector Shifts dashboard and as you can see, this is a fresh account and I don't have any pipeline. So let's go and create a pipeline from scratch. All you have to do is just click on create a new pipeline here and just create a pipeline from scratch. Now, the purpose of this video is to actually create a chatbot for WhatsApp that will act like a AI customer support service for my business. And I'm creating this one for my YouTube and my website. So let's start building and it is really easy and simple. It won't even take you a few minutes to do this. So the first thing you need is an input component because definitely you will be having input or messages from customers and you want a response that you're going to display to your customer. And one more thing that you need is going to be any LLM. It can be from any of these providers or even open source, or you can go with custom nodes too. But I'm gonna go with OpenAI here, that's it. And one more thing that you're going to need is you will have to have a knowledge base. Now, I already have a knowledge base. Creating a knowledge base is really easy. You can just go and click on create new knowledge base and you can enter a new name for your knowledge base here let's say just click up knowledge base and then you can just go on and create it but because i already have a knowledge base with me which is this one here the skill cup knowledge base so i'm going to go and choose this one and if you click on added knowledge base you can actually go on and add it to your knowledge base and my knowledge base is actually my youtube channel and my website and vector shift is actually scrapping data from my youtube channel and my website and later on i'm going to use this data as context for my chatbot. So once you're done with your knowledge base, what you need to do is you actually need to have a system prompt here. So I'm gonna go with a really simple system prompt, which is going to be answering questions or customer queries based on the contact. So I'm gonna go and say, you are an expert at customer support and you will be answered to customer queries on the basis of contact. And that's all. As for the prompt, I'm gonna show you what it actually means. But uh, one more thing that you need to know is that you can configure any model for you. So you can either use ChatGPT4, you can use GPT 3.5 Turbo, as well as different variants of ChatGPT 4.0 and O Mini. So it's up to you. But for this video, I'm going to go with GPT 4.0 Turbo. And that's not all. You can even use your personal API key by clicking here and configuring your personal API key. But that's a topic for a later video. For now, let's actually go and connect everything. So the response, the end result is going to go in the output here. As for the input, the question, as well as the knowledge base here, what we're going to do is we're going to connect it with the LLM. So I'm going to go and here I'm going to insert a new variable. But before that, I'm just going to name the variable. So for the question or the query, I'm going to go and say, this is a query. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter a variable here, which is going to be named as query and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another variable which is going to be the context so I'm going to go and say this is the context and here I'm going to insert a new variable which is going to be named context so once you're done with that let me zoom in a bit so you can see it clearly now we have two variables here the query is the question that is coming from the client or your customer so let's connect that as for the context is the knowledge base so I'm going to go and connect that with the knowledge base as for the query here in the knowledge base you can connect it with the input or the customer query. So this way the query will go to the knowledge base as well before going to the LLM. So there you go. And with that, everything is set and your chatbot is ready. Although this is going to be a really basic chatbot and I'm not saying that this is the perfect chatbot for your business, but the purpose of this video was actually to just show you how you can create a chatbot and integrate that inside your WhatsApp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go on and test this out. So let's go and play this chatbot here. 
I'm going to go and enter a prompt here. So I'm going to go and ask a really basic question here. What is skill curve? And that's all. Let's go and ask this question. Once I run this, as you can see, the question was asked and the query went to the knowledge base. It took around 0.4 seconds and then it went to the LLM and now it's processing inside the LLM. It took some time here, some AI credits that were charged. The amount is right here and then the response is here as a text. And as you can see, this is the whole response. And you can see the output as well here. This is the whole output. You can download and print this. This is for later discussion. But as you can see, our chatbot is actually working, which is really amazing. But now is the most important part. We have to actually export this inside WhatsApp. So to do that, what you need to do is you have to go and say deploy changes. This will actually save the changes. And then you can click on export pipeline. And you can go and export this as automation or a chatbot. But because this is a chatbot, I'm going to go with chatbot here. And here you can name this chatbot. And that is all. Let's go and create this chatbot. And once you're done with all the changes that you want inside your chatbot, all you need to do is just go on and click on deploy changes. What this would do is it would save all the changes. And then you can go and click on export. And this will direct you to this page here. Now, this is an important page because here you will have to integrate Tivilio inside Vector Shift. So let's go and click on Tivilio configuration here. And the thing that we need is the Tivilio account SID and the Tivilio auth token. And for that, you will have to have an account with Tivilio. I already have an account with Tivilio and signing up with them is really easy. You can use your email or your Google account to sign up with them. And they even give you or $15 for trial credits. So if you scroll down on their main dashboard, you will see your account as ID. Just copy that. Back at Vector Shift, you will have to just paste that here. As for the OAT token, you will have to copy the OAT token from here. Go back and paste that right here. And once you're done with these two, what you need to do is you need to add the webhook URL and you will have to add an API key right here. So what you need to do is you need to remove this part and add an API. So for that, what you need to do is you need to actually go to personal here. You need to go to profile and you need to go to API keys. So I'm going to go and name this WhatsApp and just to read a key. Let's go and copy this and back here in configuration. What you need to do is we actually need to copy this and paste this inside Twilio. And here inside Twilio, what you need to do is you need to go to the messaging part, try it out and send a WhatsApp message. Now to try WhatsApp, it will direct you to this sandbox and here you can open up your WhatsApp over the web or you can install the desktop application. But to connect with the sandbox, you will have to send a message on this number. Once you're connected to the sandbox, what you need to do is you need to go to sandbox settings and here inside the demo reply, what you need to do is you need to add the endpoint of your vector shift. So what you need to do is remove this and from here you need to copy this, go in and paste that right here and just remove the API key part here, as I told you earlier, and replace this with the actual API key. And there you go. I have already replaced this. Let's go and save that. And once you save it, this will connect your chatbot with Tivilio. And with that said, our chatbot is now ready and we can test it out inside WhatsApp. Now you can use WhatsApp web or if you have a WhatsApp desktop, it's up to you. So I'm gonna go and open up my WhatsApp desktop and there you go, this is the chatbot that you just integrated with the help of VectorShift and Twilio. So I'm gonna go and ask some questions here. So the first question is going to be simply a hello message and let's see what the response is. So there you go, you get a response, hello, how can I assist you today? So I'm gonna go and go with the really basic question that I asked earlier. So I'm gonna go and say what is skill curve so there you go you get all the information about skill curve and as you can see skill curve aims to support learners in achieving their certification goals thereby enhancing their careers and that's just great so now if anyone has curious about your business or want to know anything about your business they can go to your whatsapp chat board and ask questions and this way you can manage your business without even having to do anything and your chatbot will do everything and there are different use cases you can use this as a customer support service or marketing as well as an awareness chatbot and i'm truly impressed by how ai is evolving and making everything easy for businesses and everyone around the world so this was vector shift and a use case of how to export a chatbot inside whatsapp and thanks to Twilio, we can do this for free as they give trial credits to new users. And that is how we actually made our very own chatbot and integrated that inside WhatsApp. Isn't that amazing? For me, it was really cool. I hope you found this video valuable. 
If you found this video insightful, hit that like button, share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video where we'll continue to curb your skills in the latest tech. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.